I was Michael Jackson's boyfriend. You know, we, we definitely hit it off uh, the first time we met. I just didn't, I, you know, I mean, you can have a crush on someone and, and that would be it. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't until a few months later that I, you know, it was obvious that he, you know, had feelings for me as well. We were talking about our childhoods and he was relating different stories about uh, what happened when he was a kid. And I remember we were just sitting there and we both started to cry. And uh, I got up and went over to him. I said, you know, it's going to be okay, Michael. And we hugged. And uh, it was kind of then that the hug was a little bit more. There's different, lots of different levels of boyfriends, I suppose. Right. Uh, we were very close. We were very close friends. We, uh, I know we loved each other. Uh, I know he told me that all the time. Uh, I told him that all the time. Um, I believe that he was probably my soulmate. He, yeah, he was very passionate. He was very sexual. I, I think everyone that knew him close probably would agree with me. He was a very intimate kind of guy, uh, very passionate, very sensual. So, I mean, I didn't need to ask him, are you gay? Um, I just assumed that he was probably bisexual. I think he would approve of me setting the record straight. Uh, I would have preferred it to have never come out in the first place, uh, but that really wasn't my doing. So I think that setting the record straight and telling the truth, as opposed to hiding in some, you know, house in the middle of nowhere, uh, I think he would have he would have proved that yes.